do you have a Roland PMA5 and when you plug it in, it does this? Broken electronics offend me. Let's fix it. When you take off the main board, you're going to see a battery underneath it that looks very much like a standard CR2032, but it isn't. It's got tabs welded onto it uh, with three pins, and they're soldered onto the back here. I'll put a link to the, where I found this battery in the description. This battery ticked all the boxes. Let's check it because it might be old, so let's make sure it's got 3.3 volts. Yep, this is good. Let's unsolder the old one. Now I use a solder back. Some people like to use solder wick, but solder back seems to work pretty well for me and it worked well in this case. Now we just pop the old battery out and pop in the new one. Back two pins fit in perfectly, so we got the right, wait, wait, this isn't working. Dang it, what's wrong? They don't match. That one pin is not in the same position. You can see the old battery is pretty crusty, but furthermore, the pin is not quite the right place. But we have a little bit of leeway here, so we can just bend this pin, uh, bend the tab down, and move that pin back. That looks pretty close. Now we just gotta squish up that pin so that it's uh, so that the battery sits a little bit closer to the board. That ought to do it. Perfect. Okay, this time for sure. Let's get the battery in. Fits perfectly this time. Put on a little bit of tape. And flip the board back over. Get ready to solder. Now of the three pins, two of them are pretty normal, but the third pin is actually a solder bridge. You may have noticed when we were taking the solder off, there's a lot of solder on it. It's because there's two pads that need to be bridged together. So here we put on normal solder, normal amount of solder, but on this one, we have to bridge the pads, so there's gonna be a ton of solder going on here. And yes, I know I need some kind of filter. There we go. Perfect. Now just clean it up with a little bit of alcohol. And we take off the tape and put it all back together. Now last time I had this apart, I did not get the battery wires back in the right spot and we were, they were kind of pinching and not allowing the case to close. So here I'm just uh, rerouting those cables underneath the black shield here and that will allow the case to close and the stylus to seat properly. Now the first time we turn this on, we're still going to get backup NG, and the reason is that there was no backup the last time because we lost the battery, obviously because we just took it out. But if we calibrate the screen, execute our system initialization, then everything will be fine, and next time we turn it on, the backup NG will be gone. So let's turn it on and test it. This is after a short delay. And it boots up, no backup NG. Thanks for watching.